So far so good. Yeah, we set the blade down. Oops. Basics of this are this is forward, watch, forward, neutral, reverse. This is side to side, it's a wobble stick that's gonna steer you. Okay, this over here is your blade up, down. This right here is tilting the blade this way. This is like this. Okay, crank it up. You have to idle it up a little bit like that. When you crank it, you mash that all the way down. You know, a hydrostatic lawnmower, the more you push on a hydrostatic lawnmower, the faster it goes. This is the opposite. You let off on that and it starts going. The more you let off, the faster it goes. So basically you mash it down to stop. That's your stop and go. This is your forward and reverse. So which, this machine this machine won't go without this being idled up some okay so crank it up first thing we got to do is you got to pick this up so I can undo those binders all right that's your safety latch pull it up all right grab that pick it up now hit your thumb and square the blade up the other one other way, there you go. Stop. Pick it up all the way. There you go. That's good. I'll get these binders off. And what you have to do is you'll have to pick this one up for it to go forward or reverse. So you got two safeties. That that let, allows you to use or not use the blade. This is use or not use. Okay. Nice and slow. Straight back. You don't need to turn it.
that camera. Lock the cab on your way out. All right, tell everybody what you thought of that dozer. It was interesting, man. It's it's um interesting how all these machines what can be different, even though there's you know the same machine. Everything's a little different. Everything's a little different. Even the front end loaders. How'd it feel? Be, uh, how'd it feel driving it? Pretty cool. Like I've always wanted to play around with a big dozer. Well, that's not a big dozer. I know it's not a big one. <laughs> I've always wanted to play around with one in general, but yeah. I really want to play around with a D9 or something. Yeah, well, that'd be fun. <laughs> Push a little dirt around with it. I had a chance once to run a D9. Didn't do it. I was young. Every time I tell a superintendent, man, I want to get on that bulldozer and play around with it. They say, yeah, for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun for about an hour. Well, he unloaded a dozer for the first time, folks. I think it's, it's, it's in his blood now. We're gonna get back down to uh, Frost proof. Turn those next two. Let's yeah, go. Here we go, folks. Round two. I wonder if uh, little mini me is going to beat me to the driver's seat again. <laughs> he beat me. I was halfway up and he pulled me down. All right. Easy on the clutch. Easy on the clutch. Got to get him easier on that clutch. We'll get him. I just realized we started this out. Him slinging the chain. Yeah, he's right. That was fast and slick. We're going to see if he can figure it out by himself. We just gonna watch. Alright, let's see here. Alright, parking brake. Out the, and then you push some buttons. I had to press a button first before to crank up. This one right here. Oh, that's uh, open and reverse. That one doesn't have a. Okay.
Yep, he set the brake. That's good. He's on it. There it is. That was tight. Good angle. Don't like that. But it'll be okay. Cross chained. I put mine up there. He put his down there. It's all the same. Tight. Yeah. Uh-oh, my AC just quit. Gosh dang. This AC has been acting up a little bit. And, <laughs> old dad here ain't going without air. Come on, baby. been having to fool this switch to get the air on right now it's not on uh oh oh boy let's go down the road and see what happens all right folks we're wrapping up round two we've already got it detached unchained mini curbs gonna jump in it and go park it Make sure you watch your surroundings. Don't need no accidents. Good looking machine right there. done today we're going to take this thing and swap it out with the KW they got it done last night they did a like a 50 or 100 mile break in change the oil I just had a perfect hookup no camera to film it anyway they did a little like a they ran around town like 100 miles 50 miles 100 miles whatever and uh took it back to the shop changed the oil did a few other small things i think they put a work light on it and this i don't know a little knickknack stuff that i've been wanting to get done we're gonna go swap it out and uh have it ready for next week. Let them work on this. This one needs an oil change. We got a bolt in one of the tires. I got to get it pulled out. I just noticed it.
changed out check valves on the fuel system it did perfect and then now it's not again so i don't know one person said it might be an injector leaking back i don't know why it would be that if the check valve worked perfectly for you know a little bit so got to get that figured out before we burn up a starter so that's where we'll be gotta hustle up sprinkling on us wind's starting to blow pretty hard Brake button. You're off. Rev it up some. Steer that way. Turn the wheel. Go ahead. Get it packed up because it's coming. machines nine hours 240 miles is a good day now we're we're dropping off the one stack mac we're gonna drive away in this thing that mac needs a little bit of love and i have
that's it for the day. I'm home. I'm going to go in and relax. Enjoy my rest of my Saturday.